everyone, and welcome to Two Plus Minutes with an Art Eater. I'm your host, Maya Lucas, and I am so excited to be introducing our delightful guest this episode, Julian Tushabi. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Please introduce yourself, tell us your pronouns, and what you do in the arts. Sure. Uh, my name is Julian Tushabe. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm a second year MFA actor. How did you first start acting? That's interesting. I've been performing pretty much all my life, like since I was two years old. But then when I moved to the United States one summer, my grandpa was like, we need to find something for him to do. So he signed me up for a summer musical theater oh. camp. My first musical was Rent as 12 years old. That's a, that's a big one to <laughs> uh-huh. do as a 12 year old. Yeah. But yeah, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the community and the storytelling and never looked back. So The Bald Soprano is a piece of theater that's categorized as theater of the absurd. Mm. What has the process been like approaching a piece like this? It's been throwing away anything that I had as my process prior. Like literally all we can do every day is come as prepared as possible to memorize with our text and then just throwing stuff against the wall and seeing what sticks. Mihai very much is open to whatever we bring to it. And he's very interested in it being realistic. I put that in quotes. Um, in a way. It's a yeah, yeah, form yeah. of reality. Yeah. But not trying to bring meaning ahead of anything else. Okay. Just doing something and then the meaning is developed afterwards. So it's like working backwards and also just throwing any inhibitions away completely. The more extreme, justified as well, but extreme, the better. It's been very freeing. What do you hope the audiences will take away from the Bald Soprano? I really hope the audience sees some messages in the story. I don't think we have messages necessarily that we're trying to have them take away, at least not at this point in the process. But there's definitely points in the play that are really poignant because of just like world events or who the people are that are saying them or just very different things. And I really hope that each audience member can have their own unique experience as to like that point was really touching to me because I relate to it in this way or this was really scary because it relates to this thing that's happening in the world, like that kind of thing. All right. And on that note, I believe it is time for speed round. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so I'll ask you some fun questions and just try to answer as fast as you can. Okay. Breakfast food or dinner food? Ooh, breakfast. Me too. Favorite music genre? R&B. Rainy or sunny? Rainy. That's topical lately. Yeah. No, but I love a thunderstorm, not Rainy, like the drizzling yeah. we get. A movie you'll never get tired of watching. Sylvie's Love on Amazon Prime. Oh, nice. What sound does an anteater make? Zot, zot, zot. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Julian. Once again, I'm Maya Lucas. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and zot, zot, zot. Mm-hmm.